Well, I walked to a haunted house and was scared by a mouse. Ran out in such a fry. Hello, everybody. My name is Matthew Gilliland, and I'm here with my wife. Hello. <laughs> that was <like> too high pitched. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Um, so, last week was our last day in parenting group at the uh, Phoenix Counseling Center, I believe. We didn't get a chance to say goodbye because we didn't even know. And this is to all of our peers that were with us in the parenting group. And our teachers. Yeah, and our teachers. Um, I'm going to miss you guys a lot. I'm going to miss the laughter. I'm going to miss the um, constant conversations that we had. Sharing of parenting yep. skills. Hearing how people, people, hearing how people parent differently. Hearing how people. <laughs> people. I turned into that bird off of a uh, happy feet that can fly. <laughs> but um, every single one of you guys have been amazing to us. Um, when we first came in, I my personal thought was, oh, just like Hollywood, how Hollywood portrayed it. It's going to be boring and dull. Or you're going to be scolded for everything or told you have to parent this way. There's only one way to parent. And if you don't do it, you're a bad parent, etc. But we were, but I and my wife, which I was right to say the first time, we were proven wrong. Very wrong. In fact, it was a blast. And getting to know everybody and their story... Uh, when you learn somebody else's story besides your own, it's like going on an adventure. It also helps to know that people are going through the same thing you are and you're not alone. Yes, and to have somebody there to guide you. I'd also like to make a note that you don't have to have something bad going on in your life or anything to join a parenting class. It's just if you are a parent in general. You could be doing fine and everything, but I think it's still good to join a parenting class because regardless of how much you believe you know or you believe I got this, it's still really nice to just make friends with other parents and learn new things and show off, you know, your little ones because they're adorable and it's just fun. You don't actually have to do it because someone tells you to or because, you know, it's necessary for something. You can just do it to do it. And I agree to that fully. Like, 100%, I agree with what you said. And this class would be the best one to join because none of them are judgmental. Exactly, and when you try to explain what you're saying, thank goodness my wife was there with me. With my, my problem is, since I am autistic, um, I have problems forming sentences. And whenever I say them, they don't make sense to anybody, and that's why my wife was there to help me. Um... Uh, and help people understand what I'm trying to say. That's That was a challenge for me. I, I was scared to join. I really didn't look forward to joining until we actually got into it. First day we were shy. And then from there, we just... I think it was like towards the middle that you started being like the first person to answer everything. Yep. Towards the middle, I was the first one to just say, Hey, right here, I got something to say. Don't be afraid to go first. Towards the end, we started being able to talk more to other people and say, hey, we agree with you, or hey, we wish the best for you. Before, oh. we were too shy to talk to you. Yeah, I always gave, like, my rock on sign. I gave the heart sign. <laughs> Which is this. <laughs> oh, no, my face was on it. That's fine. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen. I have my hair up right now because... It's too hot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who are already my subscribers, um, this was the best thing that has ever happened to me and my wife. Th this parenting group is, I'm going to say the word, alive. It it's not dead it's not it's dull. not like going to school in a class and okay kids we're gonna learn this it's they let you talk first and then when they show the video then you get to interact with it and say 
your feelings on it. There was this one night where um, I remember specifically me, my wife, and two other people were engaging in conversation that had nothing to do with the video, even though we watched it. Well, it, it at first had to do with the video, then it spread onto our own feelings and interpretations of it. And then at first it was sad, and then towards the end we were all laughing. Yes. That's, that's how alive this parenting group is. You feel all the emotions. Yes, and then you learn a lot of things. I've learned so much in that parenting group that I never thought I'd learn in my whole existence. I'd also like to make a note when I said, oh no, my face shown. My husband doesn't mind. He actually wants me on video. I'm just shy, so I don't like being on video because then when I watch it, I'm like, oh gosh, it's me. And I, I just don't like seeing myself. So it's not him. He actually wants me to be on the video. I said, oh, no, because I saw myself. And I was like, oh, no. So I just wanted to make that clear. So all of you who are, my, who are our peers at the parenting group, this is a goodbye for now. For now. For now. Not a complete goodbye. Because we plan on making a surprise comeback. We, when... do. we can't tell you when. No. But... It'll be when we can afford it. Yep. And to also tell you guys that every single one of you will be missed. The teachers as well. Yep. Because all of you were great. We even loved that the teachers, they engaged too. They told us stories about their own life too. It wasn't just like the teachers stand there and stare at you and criticize you, make sure you're doing perfect while you interact with your peers. Oh, it's a number I don't know. Hold on. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It was, it was Spectrum. Spectrum wanting an ad saying, hey, add this to your stuff. It's free for a week, but then we all know the catch. It's a buttload of money after that week, and after everything you've gone through, you completely forget that you have a week free thing, and you're like, wait, it's past a week. And they're like, hey, you have to pay it because you've had it past a week. And yeah. She just kept going and going and going. I know. I politely told her no thank you. And she's like, yeah, bye. This, 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 and that. And so I actually had to pause her. I feel really rude right now. Because I, I said I'd appreciate if you pause. Um, we're not into that. We don't really want it. And it's kind of, we're trying to do something. And I don't want to interrupt you while you're talking. It's just it's taking time. And we need to get some things done. And, you know, she sounded kind of upset. And I didn't mean to be rude. It's just... If I wouldn't have said anything, she would have kept going about all the details of it when we're not interested to begin with. Except right now, my face is completely red because I feel so embarrassed that I was even that remotely rude. Well, sometimes you gotta be blunt with people. I which, like being blunt, but I like being sweet blunt. Which brings <laughs> me to what I'm gonna say next. Um, everybody was, everybody, our peers, which is you guys that were in parenting and group yeah. and parenting group with us were very polite when we took our turn we did when we went first nobody complained about it when we talked about our stuff nobody said anything about it when which is which is me saying thank you for being patient and kind and understanding and then when you guys did chime in to help us it was very helpful and i wanted to personally say thank you so much for being a part of our life. Go ahead. Um, before I was interrupted by the call, I was going on about how the teachers don't just stand there and watch you, basically, while you communicate with your peers. They are, in a way, your peers and your teachers because they, too, tell you parts about their life, things they've learned, things they like, things they enjoy, and they're super friendly, and they laugh, and, yeah, sometimes a couple of them cussed, but that wasn't bad. It means that they were just being them, their raw self, that they aren't trying to fake and be something that they're not, which I really appreciated. And then going off... What my husband was saying, I agree with him fully. And what was nice is when you accidentally interrupted each other, like, you know, you say, I'd go, and then someone else is like, okay, I'll go, like, at the same time. No one fought over it. They were like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. No, you go first. No, you go first. Like, they're super polite. And it was really, it was kind of funny. But <laughs> it's it was... like watching a British TV show. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. You you go, you go. Oh, you go first. No, you go first. No, you go I, first. I insist. No, I insist. No. You go first. It, it's, it was 
polite yet comical, <laughs> but I, I that's why I respect our, our counselors and our peers that were with us. The, there's just so much politeness that you don't see anymore. I hate to interrupt you, but your phone is ringing now. One second. Hey, yo. Hey, Dad. No, yeah. Oh, not much. I was making a video, but what's up? Uh, not much. We're playing Snowrunner. Snowrunner? What's that? Yeah. I, I do not have that game. You used to. <laughs> I, I swear, you guys got me confused with somebody else. No, I didn't even show that you had it. Remember you used to download games to play with them, and then when you ran out of room, you delete some game? I'm going to have to look at my library. I think it was the, the vehicles that go over the snow. Remember I watched you play it once? Oh, boy. I'm going to have to look at that. Yeah, I think, I swear I've seen you play it once, and it was like these vehicles that go over snow and stuff. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'll take a look as soon as um, I'm done making this video. That sounds exciting. <laughs> Can I ask your dad something? Go ahead. I'm having a problem. Like, I feel like I was super rude. And I just need an adult. Because to me, me and my husband are still kids. Like, you and my mom are adults to me. Um, the lady called about Spectrum, which is TV. And she kept going on and on about this free service that you get for a week and then pay later. And I, at first, I told her, no, thank you, we're not interested, we don't like doing add-ons. She's like, okay, but see here, this keeps doing it. And she went almost 20 minutes into it, and so I said, I would appreciate it if you would pause. And then she did, and she's like, oh, uh, what is it? And I'm like, I'm sorry, but we really aren't interested, as I stated before. And as I don't want to pause you while in the middle of your talking, but you're taking valuable time that we need to do something. So I would like to just say no thank you. And she's like, oh, well, okay, enjoy your day. And she hung up. And I feel like I was really rude. And I wasn't trying to be rude, but we couldn't sit there listening to what she was saying all day when we didn't want to get it. So I'm conflicted. Well, that's what they try to do is talk you into getting it, and you got to tell them though. I wouldn't feel sorry about it. So it wasn't rude? No. Okay. I don't worry about it. Well, because I know it's another human being, and it's like, I want to be a good person. I don't want to sound rude, but she just kept going on about it when I told her, no, thank you. Yeah, that's what they get paid to do. Talk yeah. you into buying their garbage. <laughs> yeah, like you get it free for one week and then after that, I don't even want to know how much money it would cost. <laughs> I love that. They get paid for trying to talk you into buying their garbage. <laughs> Thank you, that makes me feel better. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I would check as soon as I get done making this video. We're we're about done with it. It's for our parenting class. Yeah, it's for... Um, okay. All right. I like a wiener. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's a wiener. Well. <laughs> All right, love you, Dad. Love you. God bless. God bless. Bye. I love my dad. Why do you have cuts on your hand? What? Where, right there. Where'd that come from? I don't know. But we're we're unpaused right now. We're unpaused. Wait, you mean we're on? We're we're, we're still record. We're still rolling. Oh. Who's calling me? Oh my now? god, hold on guys. Sorry about that. We had a whole smorgasbord of calls coming in. One of them was ads. Ads. Another one was my dad, which you guys saw, and another one I cannot display that personal information. It's, yeah, it's, it's regarding me, but it's personal information. But anyway, we're back to you guys. Which I will make a note that I did not know my husband was recording the <laughs> phone call. And so now I sound like a weirdo because I worry too much about being rude or not. Well, but it just yeah, that's, that's <clears throat> kind of just me in general. It, it just shows that how human you are. But I am human. Each and every single one of you guys have been wonderful to us. And we greatly appreciate that. Yes. Because you, you don't see that anymore in life. No, people, pardon my language, people kind of suck now. 
Yeah. They it's either money, something perverted, all about themselves, dog eat dog world when in real life that is doggy cannibalism and I frown upon that. <laughs> but um if you guys really enjoy this video it, it it's up to you guys. I'm you not can a, leave comments. Yeah, you can leave comments. I'm not a desperate YouTuber. And I'm, oh, please subscribe. Please, 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 please subscribe. No, it's just if you wanna. If you want to, go ahead and subscribe and we hit the might hit the hit the notification bell. Can I interrupt you like three more times? I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a freaking word in edgewise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear in the background. <laughs> I have to let my inner turkey out, okay? Thanksgiving's gone. It's safe now. No, I'm joking. Um, what I was going to say is you might want to give them a heads up of what your channel is like. Like, you know, there's uh, random. So my my <laughs> my channel is built on my ADHD. Like one second I can be... Well, one day I could be uh, posting a real video. Another one I could be doing a gameplay. Another one I could do music. Another one I could be doing something very goofy and... Man. You outlandish that? yeah like real video but what you mean is really heart in depth you're teaching people something or you're getting there with the people having a heart to heart you know like really serious talk or you're just being silly and goofy and maybe recording yourself tooting which you've done or you it goes beyond that though yeah there's some weird stuff or you uh or recording you playing video games with your family or with me, you know, or, or by yourself with other people. And then there's the you playing your own guitar because you make your own music and you love to sing. And so you're actually working on albums because you want to become a professional singer. Like your um, favorite singer. Tom DeLong. Tom DeLong, even though I, I question his morals now. But he's still your favorite. My favorite is Doggy from Skillet. But, um... We each have our own favorites, but yeah, that's. I just wanted to help get in depth of what you. And then by that. pretty soon, I just I I always come up with new ideas and I post them, like, I'm thinking about doing a try not to get scared, or something like that. Something. Something. Because everyone does the try not to laugh, try not to. I mean, there no one's done a try not to puke, but that sounds kind of gross. <laughs> You better not use it on me. My husband has a weird infatuation for if I or someone else gags. He just finds it the funniest thing. <laughs> He'll be over there laughing like the Pillsbury Doughboy while someone else is going Bleh! And it's just, yeah. Even the cats. He'll make one of them gag. And he's just giggling up a storm. And I'm like, what are you doing? Because uh, some cats actually have this mechanism where if you take your thumbnail and you rake it across a comb and it makes that ding, ding, ding sound it actually makes them gag for some odd reason but yeah if you guys like this just you guys can scroll like scroll through my channel just if Careful. you if you look at my old old videos please do not come back and say what is this because i i'm going to tell you right now back then i didn't even know and I still don't know. And you don't remember a lot of things you've done. And that's when you were a kid in Kansas, way before we met. We've only been together like three years. <laughs> and you still did some silly stuff with me. I did a years. lot of questionable things. Yeah. You're way more mature now than you would be. But one thing I can say, and this is from the bottom of my heart to you, hon, is that the one thing you always are and never fail to be is real. You're always yourself, regardless of what's going on. If you're angry, sad, going in one of your silly, goofy, zoomy moods like a dog, <laughs> regardless of what it is, you're always real. It's always your hardcore you-ness, if that's a word. <laughs> but you are you. You don't do a fake facade. You don't, I'm going to act like this on screen and get all of the attention. In real life, I'm this kind of person. Or, I'm super friendly on screen and in real life, I'm a humbug. Stick, a, stick up your bum, you know, kind of person. You're just you. Yeah. And that's one thing I appreciate about you, too, is that you are you. I don't, I don't play the acting game. But he's a good actor. I am, but I don't act whenever it comes to my real life and my channel. I am legit. And he is a good voice actor, too. I like it when he does uh, Jack Sparrow. My name is Kim Jack Sparrow. I also like the Joker. 
Hey, Batman. Knock, knock. Who's there? Me. Me who? That's it. <laughs> he's shy now, but he's really good at doing this. Yeah, they're, they're... I'm surprised my wife doesn't, like, pick up the camera and just record any time that I'm being... Whenever I have the zoomies, long story short, like... It it catched me off guard doing something really. I, yeah, I walked into the kitchen and he's all Joker talking to his breakfast. He's making now here. Let me tell you, egg. I'm gonna turn you. And I just walk in and I'm like, what are you doing? Wow, well, here we go, egg. I'm gonna crack ya and I'm gonna cook ya. And then that one time when uh, we had our son Thomas, he was really really small. You were like, here you go, baby Joker, to yeah, your yeah. mom. And then yeah. he's just looking at you like, what? Yeah, here you go, Joker Junior. I'm gonna take you to your mom. But yeah, the kids find it funny. If you guys stick around, you guys are gonna see a lot of weird, not weird, but random me. Just a lot of me. You're random. Mm-hmm. Um. We won't have a bunch of stuff of our kids, and that's not because we don't love them, but it's because there are predators and weirdos out there that when they see a kid, they think horrible things that I cannot even fathom, and I am very overprotective of my children. So it won't be until they're probably older that we start incorporating them more, but there will be things here and there. It's just I'm very protective of them, and I don't want people to take a video of them and be weird because if I found that out, I would have to hunt that person down. Mama Bear. But, yeah. <laughs> I really do appreciate you guys. And I hope I get to see more of you guys. Like, comment and stick around our channel. Because we do miss you guys. I'm not trying to make a profit from what I'm doing. I just like to be around people that I was comfortable with. And it's just fun. Yeah. And it's also kind of your... Not a diary in a sense, but you definitely get to vent on here. What? What I say? <laughs> no, you said diary, and I'm thinking of my own... <laughs> diarrhea. No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> not said like that. <laughs> Matthew Gilliland's diary, page one. No, <laughs> I fought it on my wife today, and she was appalled. I wonder why. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's it, this is your own diary, and I'm like diarrhea. <laughs> I just said diary. No, but not said it like. Plain is diarrhea. I'm sorry, my diarrhea was boring, sir. But, <laughs> but yes, we we're gonna miss every single one of you guys. I I'm gonna miss making a lot of people laugh. My wife's gonna miss uh, making a connection with other people. I I really enjoyed talking to the other moms and dads and the teachers and. We would cry together, which, you know, crying is not a bad thing. When you have a group and you all feel the same emotion, you cry for each other, it's actually quite loving and nice. And you get to feel how that other person feels. Even though it's over a screen, you still can feel how they feel. And you know it's genuine with the tears and the anger and everything. Because every emotion is important and it's validated, should be validated. And we all share them, so... It's nice to be in a group where everyone can join in that emotion together and back each other up. So, with this being said, I'm going to be coming out with my own movie. It's basically a, a, my own biography. So that way everybody get, can get to know me better. I haven't came up with a name yet, but I'm... It's been two years since I've been working on it. Sorry. I'm not laughing at you. I heard it's been, and I heard our inside joke, it's been five days <laughs> at me. I'm blind, Carl. I'm blind, Carl. But, um, you guys have been amazing. And I'd like to say my goodbye before my wife says hers. As, as always, stay positive. Don't let them strike you down. I love you all to death, not as much as I do my wife. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye Go ahead, babe. Well, for me, it's a bye for now. Because I would like to think of us as friends in a sense. Even if, you know, it's not that anyone has to be. It's just we've grown so attached to you all. I do apologize that I'm not the best with names. And it takes me a while to remember names. But 
I still remember everyone's voice, if that makes sense, because the sounds stay with me, like, if, oh, yeah, I know that person, and, like, I, I can connect what I've learned from that person to their voice, even if I don't remember their name, but I think, in my opinion and heart, I think you're all amazing parents, and you're doing your best, and that's the best you can do. Don't listen to other people's criticism, because their best is different. Their best is theirs. Your best is yours. And you can only do your own. So regardless of what someone else thinks, as long as you're doing your best, then you're doing just fine. And in the end, as long as your little ones love you, are happy with you, you know, you're, you're perfect to them. It's, that's all that matters is how your little ones feel and how you feel about yourself. So love yourself. Love your little ones. Don't let the world change you into someone else. Always be yourself. Regardless if people don't like it. Because a lot of people, they think I'm too shy and so they can walk all over me. And then when I get angry and stand up for myself, they're like, oh, well, you know, you're not as nice as we thought you were. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I've never given you a facade. You only assume I'm a certain way because, you know, I don't show myself to you. And then you get me all agitated and I defend myself and now you think I'm something else. That's what a lot of people do to people. And don't let them do that. Be you. I am a shy, quiet person. But when I push myself or I really like someone, you know, like a person and I feel like I can trust being myself with them, I talk more. It's thanks to my husband that I actually talk a lot more than I used to because he used to compare me to a mouse. Although now I'm still a rat because I eat too much cheese. <laughs> but um, I think it's just the main thing is just be yourself regardless of what other people think. And just love yourself. Love your kids. and Comfort yes, each other. Yeah. Just be there for each other. Regardless of who comes, who goes. Just open your heart and be there for each other. Don't you know, let someone all the way in and let them hurt you, but be kind and caring. Treat others how you would like to be treated. Something we've been taught, at least I have, at a very young age. And um, for the parents out there who, yes, I mentioned, you know, as long as your kids are happy with you, love you. When you come across a moment, especially if your kids have been with someone else, regardless what the situation is, because I won't go into detail. Whatever the situation is, like they went with grandma or they went with someone you don't know or whatever it is. Who knows? The the dad or the mom. They come back to you and they don't act happy. You have to think that the kid is confused. They don't really know what's going on, especially if they're little. Things are going to be hard on them too. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean you're a bad parent. It just means that things are hard on them too and they're trying to figure stuff out. So don't hate yourself. Don't beat down yourself. As long as you love your little ones, you're not hurting them. You're not, you know, taking things from them cruelly. Like, you know, like on Cinderella where they take things from her and say, ha ha ha, you can't have it. Stuff like that, you know, like love. As long as you're doing that, you're doing fine. Don't be so hard on yourself. Something I have to teach you every now and then. Yeah. I'm kind of like Alice in Wonderland. I, uh, I speak very important words, but seldomly do I follow them, <laughs> yep. but just from that experience and knowing how it feels, don't beat yourself up because it, it sucks. It hurts more when you beat yourself up than when someone else does. It's more embarrassing when someone else does it, but it hurts more when you do it subconsciously and consciously. We're not perfect. God made us the way we're supposed to be, and we can only do our best. So just remember to love yourself, even if no one else does, or it feels like no one else does, then be that person who does, and give yourself all the love that you possibly can. So, with that being said, we're going to say we're going to miss you guys. And Already do. Yep. Yesterday was so weird not coming on and talking to everybody. Mm-hmm. And we're going to say goodbye for now. And I hope you guys keep an eye on my channel. So that way I can still have a piece of the uh, counseling that we used to have.
The friends. The friends. The unblood family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we'd like to say bye-bye for now. Because we will make a comeback. Mm-hmm. Stay strong. Stay I went to bed. That's all that needs to be said. That's what I have.